All right, everybody, it's 12 p.m. noon Eastern Standard. We're live right here on the Rec Tech Girls Facebook page, so you know what that means. We're bringing you the content that you want, but right now I want to pass it on over to the dark chocolate himself. Oh, okay. Mr. Chef Mr. John Pinnell. Do, 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 hey, do, 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 Rec Tech Lifestyle, set it. And come get it when the sun starts going down. Yeah. Live your life the way you like. It's the Rec Tech lifestyle. Wow. Do, do, do. Battle and arrow. Do, do, do. Battle and arrow. Do, do, do. Rec Tech lifestyle. What is up, America? How are you guys doing? Welcome to the most exhilarating watched daytime cooking show out there right now lunch break i'm your host chef john i'd like to thank you guys for tuning in i got my boy jody flanagan the goat on the ones of the twos jody how are you doing sir man i'm hanging in there like a hair in a biscuit john that's what i'm talking about my friend excellent so guys please put them in the comment sections any comments questions concerns you may have for me and jody he will be reading those comments out i'm here so, for you yeah he is 24 7 jody's here for you um, so we have a super special show planned for you guys. Uh, it's barbecue month, right? So we're keeping with that whole barbecue theme and I'm going to do some barbecued turkey wings. Burr, 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 burr. That's right. Barbecue turkey wings and some baked beans right on the grill. That's right. I'm super, super, super excited. Yum. Before we get started though, for all you guys that are watching, go ahead and just smash that share button real quick for me. Help me help y'all keep bringing y'all great content like this. And the only way to do that is to smash that share button. All right, sweet. Okay, so quick shout out to my local grocery store. Uh, I went to Publix and picked up some turkey wings. Now you could get the wings separated. I got the full wings and when I mean a full wing, this is what it looks like. It's totally full. You have the drum mat and you have the flat, right? So what we're gonna do is show them them wings. Show them that man. wing again. Look at that big wing. That's a nice size wing right there. I lo really do love turkey wings. There's a whole manner of preparation you could you could do to these. We could brine these. We could marinate these. But I'm gonna show y'all a quick and easy way to barbecue these things up. Okay. So Delicious. first thing we want to do is we want to just separate the flat. Some folks are asking about uh, Chef Greg, how he's doing. He's doing amazing. Yeah, he is. He is in the house. He actually just made an amazing post on his social media. And we encourage you, when we get done here, to go check out Chef Greg's uh, social media post. Uh, just a little teaser. Just a little teaser. Just a little something, something that you guys might be liking. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so you saw how easy that was. We separated that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit of olive oil just to use it as my binder, just nice and light. Flip it over, we're gonna hit it one more time. Yum. Excellent, and then I'm going to use the honey rib rub. I love this stuff, that honey rib rub. It is a perfect blend of, of brown sugar, salt, paprika. What else we got in here? Uh, a chili powder, a little bit of cayenne, it is delicious. A little bit of that sweet heat. So we're just gonna go right over the top of these turkey. Nice even coverage. There. Yeah, even coverage, Jody. Where's everybody watching from? Put it in the comment section down below. We'll give you a huge shout out. And again, let's see some likes. Let's see some loves. Chef Greg is back. He's in the house somewhere. Uh, but he's making an awesome post on his social media. So yep. we encourage you to go check that out. That's right, that's right. Okay, so I have the bullseye set at 375 degrees. I let it come up the temperature. I went ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and drop these turkey wings straight on there. Ooh. Yeah. Now generally oh, you're gonna snap. wanna you're generally you're gonna wanna let this uh, the tiny rib rub rest for a little bit so the seasoning has a good chance to adhere to the skin. We're gonna go ahead and throw it on. Man, the sizzle. Yeah. The bullseye's gonna make short work out of this. So we're just gonna let these things do their thing. Direct fire grill. Yes. All right, now I'm gonna start on these baked beans. So what I got was, I got some bacon, some just really thick, nice cut bacon to make lardons out of. What? Lardons. 
which what? is a fancy French word for thick cut bacon strips. Chef Greg's out there watching. Hey, Chef Greg! Chef Greg, get back out here. The people want to see you. They do. They, they miss you. They want to make Chef. sure that you're not. They uh, miss you, Chef they, Greg. They Please, miss you. if you're They're, not busy right now, come if on you down, can come Chef. down and say hey to everybody, we'd really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. But I'd like to thank all you guys for tuning in. Mm -hmm. We are doing mm -hmm. uh, barbecue turkey wings and baked beans on the Rec Tech. Wow, wow. That's right. We just threw the turkey wings down. I, I separated uh, the flats and. We just threw them down on the bullseye at 375 degrees. We're gonna we're gonna let that cook up. Now, as you see, I got a little bit of bacon here. That's pile we just, of lard on right a there. A little buddy. lard on right there. That's what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do now is, I've got the RT590 set Ooh. at 450 degrees, and that Ooh. thing is rocking out. So when I turn the grill on, I went ahead and put my cast iron skillet inside the grill. And this is a little a little tip for you guys. You really want to give that cast iron a chance to heat up, right? So just let it come up to temperature as your grill comes up to temperature. And by the time your grill comes up to the five, 450 degrees, that cast iron skill is going to be ready to rock. Mm. All right. What was that temperature on both the grills right now, Chef? All right. So I have the bullseye John. running at 375 degrees, and that's what I have my turkey wings on. Okay. And then I have the RT590 set at 450 degrees. I wanted that cast iron to be really hot because we've got a lot of ingredients that are going to go in there, and I wanted it to render down this bacon to be really nice. So we're going to go ahead and throw the bacon in first. Sizzle, sizzle. Yeah, that looking good. Gonna let this, we're just gonna stir this around, right? Hey, Chef John, can you do pizza in the RT700? You sure enough can do pizza in the RT700. You can do whatever you like. Anything that you can do in the oven is what I like to tell people you can do on a Rec Tech grill. Bake. Pizzas, cakes, breads, cookies, you know, and all the traditional stuff that you could think of steaks, burgers, pork butts, ribs, brisket. I mean, any kind of vegetable that you want to grill or smoke, zucchini, corn. Uh, we did, uh, I do tomato, smoked tomato soup. I smoked the tomatoes on there. It is versatile. I highly encourage everybody to go check out rectechgrills.com. Go check out the website, go scroll through. Just see, we've made some adjustments to the website. There's some new stuff on there. There are people working hard, hard, hard right? to bring you the best in website. What do you call that? Connectability, functionality, Whatever. Man, you know, all those good words you know you're coming what I'm up with about. right now. All right, so we're going to let that bacon, as that bacon's rendering down, I've got uh, Shoot, yeah. one white onion. I've got two jalapenos, and I took the seeds out because we don't want it to be too spicy. We have some people in here that have a spice allergy. Me. <laughs> and then I've got a little bit of red pepper. We're going to add all this together. That was about three red peppers. And then I have a little bit of brown sugar. We're going to weigh on the brown sugar, and we're going to add the vegetables to our cast iron skillet. Ooh, yeah. that bacon. Lardons are doing great. You see how they're starting to render down nice? Okay, then. Now I'm just going to go ahead and dump all these beautiful vegetables straight in. Yeah. And now we're going to hit it with a little bit of that honey rib rub. Could you use any other seasoning? You could huh? use whatever seasoning you like. I just love the f flavor profile of honey rib rub. That was about two tablespoons of garlic, and I'm using a garlic paste. Shout out to Publix. You can uh, find garlic <laughs> paste at your local grocery stores. And we're going to go with about three tablespoons of honey rib rub. Um, but yes, Jody, you could use whatever of our seasoning or whatever seasoning you really like. Okay. And you're sitting at about 425 degrees right now, I right? am sitting at about 425 degrees. Now, everyone, we know that when you lift up the grill lid, it lets all the heat out, and the grill has, to, has to take time to recover. So that's one of the beautiful things about using the cast iron skillet. It's going to hold that heat a lot better than if you did not weren't using a cast iron, if you were just using a, a, a plain skillet. So that's a little chef tip from me to you. Woo, Lord. Is it hot, Chef John? I'm a little warm, Jody. I'm a little warm. And you know what, though? My favorite dirty girls, Erica and Amanda, they knew I was going to be hot today. So Erica made me a delicious drink. Delicious drink. She made me a peach daiquiri. Look at Ooh. this, guys. Little Folks, peach. we're asking what was in that shaker. Yeah, a little peach daiquiri. She said this. We have 
one and a half ounces of rum, peach rum. We have uh, three fourths, three and a fourth ounce of peach puree. We have 10 ounces of Dirty Girl Sour Mix, Yum. a fourth ounce of simple syrup, and then she rimmed it with the DG salt and a lime twist. Ooh, Ooh I know. All right, the man, the myth, the legend just came hey, in. Hey, what's up? Erica does that in her videos, right? You yeah, got that's right. your favorite Dirty Girl. That's right. Is that pretty tasty? Mm. Greg, thank you so much for coming down, man. So tasty. I yes. mean, I was just upstairs, like doing some bullseye pictures and some videos. They miss you. The people miss folks you. Folks were we'll blowing it up, yeah. asking about oh. you. Guys, Chef Greg's here. That's right. Smash that share button. Give us a like. Give I'm us a love. I'm excited for lunch. Turkey wings? Yeah, it's going to be great, Chef Greg. I, hey. I can smell it from the parking lot, like coming in this morning. While you're here, why don't you tell everybody about Academy? Dude. Oh, perfect. Roddy Trevino's in the comment section oh, down below. Roddy. What's up, Roddy? Hey, what's up? Um, and we got a box of special goodies from a couple of our friends with two gringos and La Chupacabra. Okay. Uh, we got some great stuff. So Rec Tech Academy is going down at uh, the beginning of June. We've got Carrie Chastain with Hold Your Horses Barbecue from Griffin, Georgia. We're going to show you guys how to do a whole hog. I ordered that bad boy from a local uh, farmer here in the area. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Roddy and Sarah Starr are coming in uh, from Texas. We'll show you some IBCA style chickens. You better believe we'll be cooking on that all new RT B380 mm -hmm. bullseye. We'll be th showing you uh, briskets and chickens on that. In addition to all sorts of fun stuff, uh, Jody, myself, and Chef John will show you more of the KCBS side of things. And then uh, Carrie Chastain kills it on the GBA. We'll talk about all different styles of competition barbecue because they are different. That's right. It's so true. it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I look forward to having you guys don't sleep on it. We've got a couple more spots available uh, for this June. That'll be the 4th, 5th, and 6th um, here at 4301 Evans Talox Road. Rec Tech Grills Worldwide Headquarters. It's going to be insane. The swag bags that everybody's going to get for this. I love it. I mean... I've already seen y'all start to put this stuff together, and it looks amazing. It's over a $200 value in that swag bag. Wow. And this academy is not just competition cooks. We'll show you some great backyard tips. And the beauty of it, whether you're going to go compete or cook backyard. Right. It's gonna elevate that game. And a lot of times that competition barbecue, they, you go to those classes and there's a lot of secrets. A lot of secrets. There's a lot of secrets. A lot of secrets. Well, we don't keep secrets with family. No. So you're gonna know exactly how we do it. That's right. You're gonna use the same tools, the same grills, the same seasonings, the That's same it. injections, everything. That's right. So if you wanna know how we won uh, hogging on Lanier last year in brisket, join us for Rec Tech Academy because no secrets, guys. That's what I'm talking no about. No secrets. And we also have a fun event coming up. There's going to be back at Hogan on Lanier. Okay. Uh, this, I want to say it's the July 31st and August 1st. It's in Cumming, Georgia. Nice. We're going to be partnering with Atlanta Barbecue Store. Sweet. And we're going to see about hosting a uh, kind of a meet and greet there. We'll have the Mamba hanging nice. out. And maybe we'll do like a, a special VIP Rec Tech only event for you guys. So That's stay tuned and join us for Academy. We've got dates in September and October as well. Chef Greg, how do they find out about exclusive information? God. Like, you know, anything that would be coming up in the future. How would they do that? From your lips to God's ears. <laughs> you go to rectechgrills.com, scroll all the way to the bottom where it says sign up for the newsletter. Make sure you guys do that. We will send out uh, that information to you. And better yet, while you're there, jump on uh, to the website, the Academy tab. It's got all the information there as well for you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, Chef Greg at rectechgrills.com, or shoot me in a uh, DM on uh, social media. That's right. Preferably Facebook. Because you Instagram have, gets lost every now and then. You have then. a new Facebook handle though, right? Uh, Chef Greg Muller. I make it easy. Everything is on the same. So I Chef Greg Muller on YouTube, right. Instagram, and uh, Facebook. That's right. You guys go follow so Chef So everybody's Greg. asking how your chicken wing is doing, Chef <laughs> You know what? 14 stitches are going to come out on Monday. I got okay. a little bit more mobility. That's good. There's one tender spot when I hit it. The whole arm Ooh. goes numb. Not enjoyable, um, but getting better. That's I, got, I got a little more grip strength, which is good, so That's that it. knife hand will be good yeah. for uh, slicing that brisket. Yeah. But thank he, you. For he like that. Wolverine over here. It's, I love it. It's, love it's, it. it's, it's gnarly looking, but it's getting better. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and add well, these good. Thank you so much, Chef Greg. The to folks this uh, cast iron skill. Yeah, you. thank you so much, Chef Greg. We all love seeing you, and we're so happy you're doing better. All right, so that was just one, uh, I think it was 16, no, it was a 32 ounce can of uh, baked bean. I used my favorite baked beans, bush baked beans. Lard on. The yeah. only one that's got that recipe is that dog, man. That's I'm it. saying, like. That's it. Rest in peace. So we're gonna stir this in. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of brown sugar. And then we're just gonna mix this in real good. And then I'm gonna add some of our Rec Tech barbecue sauce to finish this off with. And Chef John, if you didn't have any brown sugar, 
Yeah. What one of our rubs would you put in there to kind of bring it over the top? I'd use honey rib rub. That's what I would use if I didn't have any brailled sugar. I love that stuff. But you know what, Chef Greg? Any of these, would, any of our seasonings would be good. You know, the Screaming Pig would be good in here. Uh, and it might sound silly, but if you've not put some of that raised warm apple pie oh, yeah. in some of your dishes to kind of bump that sweetness up. Oh, yeah. yeah amazing. Right. Yeah. It that apple that sugar. Club. I'm telling you, a little sprinkle on some ribs, some beans, even a chicken salad, it's really over the top. Yeah, you're telling the truth. From your lips to God's ears, that's the truth right there. All right. Okay, so guys, now we are at the place where I'm going to go ahead and start to sauce these uh, turkey wings. Now, I want to show you all a quick and handy thing that Chef Greg Hey, we, we came literally up with just today. came up with this. This is genius. That's right. Just on these regular squeeze bottles, you know, that you can get whoa, them whoa, like whoa. an eight pack at Y'all about to blow somebody's mind right yeah, now. Yeah, you get this them is... like an eight pack at Sam's, mm -hmm. you know, like eight bucks, nine For sure. bucks. Save the tops. Save the tops. Or if you buy that dessert sauce, that raspberry sauce, yeah, that key true. lime sauce, that's right. just save the top of it. Screw it on to oh your Rectech Grills Smash that sauce share button. bottle. And you have created your own squeeze bottle. You have created your own squeeze bottle. That's a tip from Chef Greg right there. He just blew it out the water. Hey, every that. now and then, <laughs> every now and then I have good ideas, right? Yeah, he blew it out. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and sauce these bad boys up. And we're just going to go right over the top. We're using the spicy Rectech Gourmet sauce. John, they're out there talking about the, the alarm apps. The alarm apps? The alarm apps. Okay. If you have not updated your app on the Apple uh, uh, app store or the Google Play store, the apps have been kind of revamped and updated, and there's a lot of new stuff going on in those apps. So don't sleep on it, guys. Very cool. That for update sure. is available for you. Um, and if you've not renamed your grill something really fun and exciting, what's right. your, I know you got a couple of grills at the house. Yes, Chocolate what? Thunder. <laughs> is, Chocolate Thunder is my 700. Uh, little Betty is my 340, and I haven't named my Stampede yet. I need a good name. Y'all put in the comments Stan. section a good name for my Stampede. My Jeffrey. Five, my 590. Jeffrey. RT5. Jeffrey. See, the one thing about it people don't realize, too, is you can have your grills on multiple devices. Yeah. It's really simple. Uh, Julie has the control of all the grills here in the Academy Kitchen and the ones <laughs> at the house. That's right. Um, just make sure if you've got a significant other or you yourself have multiple devices, you can use that same login information uh, on maybe an additional iPad or phone or mobile device, and all of those grills will sync over. So again, you can have the control of all of your grills on multiple devices. Just make sure you've got that that's same a, login that's information. A key. That's a handy Absolutely. Key, she does get kind of frustrated when we add some more grills in there um, <laughs> because she's got to go through about like 30 of them to hey, figure out which one is her grill at the house. Is Julie handy with the grill though? Dude, she can throw down. Really? She loves that RT590. Now again, my wife is a little bit shorter. <laughs> uh, she likes that 590 because it's a little bit lighter weight and she can lift that lid up super easy. And with the way the RT700 is built in at the house with that smoke box and counter, right. it's, you know what? It's a little bit more robust. Uh, so she uses that 590 for everything from, you know, she makes some rockin' banana bread. She's oh, yes. even talking last night, making some uh, seven layer Mexican dip tonight on what? that. Go and, ahead, um, Julie. As long as she saves me some, I don't mind. But <laughs> she does get mad when I don't clean the drip pan. I gotta keep that, keep that grill for her nice and clean, make sure there's plenty of pellets in that hopper, but she, she kills it. Because again, she can push a button, set the dial, walk away, Go to the pool, do whatever with the kids, and uh, it's well, super, super simple. And you know what, Greg, Chef Greg, that's a, a lot of our uh, rec tech lifestyle people out there are mm -hmm. men. Now we have a, we have women too for sure, but I would say the majority of them are men. But I wonder why more women haven't adapted to the rec tech lifestyle because it's so easy. Set it. See, I think that I think it. they have, but they are way too busy. Uh, okay. Doing all this stuff, keeping okay. the, keeping the family straight. Um, mm -hmm. I know I've seen a lot of. There's a great Facebook uh, group out there for uh, just rec tech grillers, just yeah. female rec tech grillers. Yeah. And that was started by kind of uh, one of our local, um, you know, women that just lady. embraced yeah. Yeah. the rec tech lifestyle. What's the name of that, what's the name of that group? Uh, was it Women Can Cook on uh, Rec Tech? I can uh, tell you, you know what, yeah, I'll tell you in a yeah. second. I, I really, I'm sure. I'll go ahead and I'll share that page in the uh, comment nice. feed at the end of this video. Nice. How about Laura that? Parsons. How about that? Yes. Laura Parsons, I love and it. she makes some really cool cups too. Yeah, she really does. She hooked us all up with cups. And I really like to, Give a quick little shout out to all my female watchers out there, all my female rec techers. I love you guys. Let's start posting some pictures of all the great stuff that you guys are cooking. And let's show these guys that it's not just a man's world. You know what I'm saying? And John hosts. They're just hiding their skills. I know they are. Well, they don't, they they don't, they don't want to right. overachieve because, again, you That's set right. that bar kind of high. But if you guys want to have a little ladies' night action, make yeah. sure you guys tune in to Chef John going live every Tuesday and Thursday for That's Rec right. Tech Late Night on the Chef John page. That's right. Killing it. 
Killing it. Killing it. Killing it. Killing it. Having he's, a great time. He out sings there. The, uh, the the love song. <laughs> you were a little Marvin Gaye the I other do. week, right? I do. It was Greg. really good. Uh, Michael I Frederick did. out there says he's got the RT700. He calls it Snoop Dogg because yeah. it smokes all day long. That's what I'm talking about, old Snoop. <laughs> Carrie said she brought, uh, bought the mini for her husband, and he's never grilled on it. She grills three times a week. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I love to hear. I love to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these baked beans off. And again, with that convection uh, cooking environment and the Rectech grill, you can honestly cook anything in the grill. You've got a cast iron pan, all of those favorite recipes will work fantastic for you, whether they're cooked on the stovetop or cooked in the oven. Why not cook outside? Yeah. Why not cook with wood? Yeah. Get more flavor in your food. Amen. Look at those turkey wings. So I mean, just delish, right? screaming with flavor. They're looking great. And another reason, if you're in the South, you do not want to have to heat your house up unnecessarily in the summertime. Like it's hot already, people. Keep, keep your bills low. Grill outside, you know? That is what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're gonna Craig this. Leonard out there is putting burnt ends in his baked beans. Ooh, that, those are some uh, good burnt. That's those a little, that's a little extra, buddy. That's that beans is, look legit. That is. Oh, we're just gonna go right over the top of this, like this, with a little bit more of that honey rib <laughs> rub. I'm gonna finish it with a little bit more of that awesome sauce bottle, gourmet, rec tech hot barbecue sauce. Ron Donnelly's got a fantastic name for his RT680. He calls it rambunctious. Rambunctious. I love it. <laughs> that is how you do Laura it. Laura Parsons is out there watching. Laura, uh, we gave you uh, your ladies of Rec Tech, That's your right. grillers group, a shout out. That's right. We'll go ahead and uh, drop that link in the description below. So if you are a female uh, member of the Rec Tech lifestyle, go ahead and join that group. Those ladies are out there doing a fantastic I, job. I love it, ladies. Thank you guys so much for doing what y'all do. I love it. All right, so I'm going to finish this with just a little bit of green onion over the top. That, you know what we need? To, this is to go like extra, extra. Yeah. Some jalapeno cornbread. Oh, man. I should have made jalapeno Yum. cornbread. Guys, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. We're having a great time here at Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters of Rec Tech. Smash that share button. Hit the like button. Help us help y'all keep bringing you great content like this. The only way to do it, mm -hmm. smash that share button, guys. Chef John, i got a question for yeah. you. Michael uh, Schrader's out there asking, do you need a pizza stone for the rectum? No, you don't. You don't need a pizza no. stone at all, my friend. I take those frozen little cheap, the like $2 mm -hmm. pizzas that you get. You know, they, you can even put Totino's pizza rolls on the grill yeah, just, on one of them grill mats. It's fantastic. Throw it straight on there. If you've got a pizza stone and you already have one in the house, it'll work just fine, yes. right? Totally. I'm not a fan of the pizza stones. I like the pizza screens. I use the aluminum ones with the holes in the bottom. Yeah. That way you don't obstruct any airflow in that grill. Uh, if you've got a convenience dough or even non-bread, you can use those non-stick grill mats or just go right on the grill grates themselves. Yeah, that's a great if test. you're using uh, like a, a fresh dough or you've gone to your local pizzeria and you've gotten a prepared dough, uh, prepared dough for you, go ahead and stretch that out and you can use uh, any pizza pan. You can go to the grocery store, Target, Walmart. They're super cheap. That's but right. I like the ones with the holes. doesn't obstruct any airflow for you. But again, the Rectech grill can cook everything, everything from biscuits to briskets and everything in between. You don't need any fancy accessories to make pizza. That's right. The grill will do it and do a fantastic job That's right. each and every time. And it's all because of that PID Wi-Fi controller mm -hmm. holding that temperature true for as long as you have pellets in the grill. Laura Parsons out there saying, uh, crazy cup lady giving y'all a big shout out. Hey! You're not the crazy cup lady, Laura. We love you. You're fantastic. <laughs> your family. Your family, Laura. But guys, also, we want to remind you that we are doing a win one for dad. How you do that is you go to Glenn Beck's Instagram page. Thank you, Glenn Beck, and find out how to enter. Don't be the son that doesn't bring anything home for Father's Day. Bring home a grill for your dad. Also, we're doing, uh, you need to go to see DG Mixers. You need to go to their uh, Facebook or Instagram. They've partnered up with The Giving Kitchen, which is a yep. great nonprofit organization that helps out specifically food and beverage industry people in their times of need. And we all know somebody in the food and beverage industry that's going through a rough time right now. So that's For a sure. great way to help out. Uh, we also want- got the Rectech Grills t-shirts available yeah, too. Yeah, tell them about that, Chef Greg. So again, you guys can go to that same website we've got uh, on Facebook, uh, pinned to the top is a link. You can purchase one of those special shirts. That's I bought right. two myself because I am notorious <laughs> for ruining shirts and shorts that's the right. very first time. That's I'm not right. an apron guy. Um, so again, I pick, typically pick up the shorts at Sam's Club, shout out $7. When they get, when they get grease stains, you throw them out. So I bought two shirts. That's good. One to cook in and one to kind of keep nice down the road. That's it. These, um, these shirts are exclusive too. They will yep. not, once they are sold out, and limited they will edition. Be, yeah, they limited will not edition. be for sale anymore. So definitely you want to check yeah, that out. Tyler Mitchell's name for his 590 is the Game Changer. The Man, Game these, Changer. These games are awesome. The Teresa's game. is 420, John. 
There Teresa's you go. name for her grill is 420? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Teresa. Jim <laughs> Seeley's out there saying, uh, he's, he's calling out Roddy Trevino, saying he constantly hits top 10 with beans at the American Royal. Oh. Can't let those secrets out. Okay. But those beans are cooked on a Rectech grill. Okay. Hey, this year, Jim actually borrowed Roddy's uh, bullseye to cook something in it so, at the American Royal this year. Did he But real? here's why. That, that, <laughs> I guarantee you that grill that Roddy had, perfectly seasoned. Right. So the flavor that went in those beans right. were better because of all of those competition cooks that Roddy had I done agree. in that grill previously. I totally, I totally, totally agree. All right, I'm going to give this stuff a bite. You make Chef it happen. Greg, you want to give it, you got you want to give it a little sample Let's see too? see one more uh, shot of that delicious food. You want to get a shot food. of Look that? Look at this. This is that. gorgeous. It looks, it so don't burn your frame. Give us a little rundown, Chef John. All right, so what we did was uh, I put my cast iron skillet in the, cheers, uh, buddy. cheers to you. The RT590 at 450 degrees, let it come up to temperature. Mm. Then I got some really nice thick cut bacon, dropped it in there, let it render down some of that mm. fat. Then I added red peppers, onions, uh, some jalapeno without the seed, a little bit of garlic. Uh, and then I just let that all cook together added um, some of the honey rib rub, Yum. and then finished it with some of that Rectech barbecue sauce, gourmet barbecue sauce. And what's super amazing about that flavor there, John, is when you put that barbecue sauce in there, that mm. Rectech Grill's gourmet barbecue sauce, it's like that hybrid baby. Oh, yeah. It's that vinegar, it's that ketchup-based oh, yeah. barbecue sauce, and it's got just enough twang oh, in there ma'am. that when you eat it, like literally my mouth is exploding right now. Man, that is so good. So super Greg, tasty. From you, heat? you one of these. Because it's so hot? No, just <laughs> it's got the gr a great bit of acidity to it. Yeah, so you so just good. salivate over and over again, man. Everybody's seeing oh. how those baked beans look. Oh man, Joey, Jody, man, mm. those things look great, guys. Mm. You gotta smash that share That's button. Give them a like. Give them a love. The two chefs. This was so easy, guys. So easy. I'm giving the elbow bump, John. Yes, make this your next meal. Mm -hmm. Turkey wings. You know, super light, super healthy. Baked beans. Maybe not so healthy, but definitely delicious. Make this your next meal. Mm. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Chef Craig, thank you for coming down and hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I mean, always love seeing you. Of course, you get me, I'm gonna get a big old bite in my mouth. I know, that's it, that's what But I make do. sure you guys tune in tonight for Rectech After Hours. That's right. What at are we five o'clock. What are we doing? Jody, uh, Chef John, and myself, we're gonna do some delicious tri-tips. Uh, yeah. jo Jody uh, shared that box with that cow, stick, or a cow cattle company. Right. Sent us a brisket and a couple of uh, tri-tips. Mm -hmm. We'll do some of those tri-tips tonight. That'll we'll show you fun. how to reverse serum and whatnot. That's Dude, that is fun. a juicy, juicy turkey. Yeah. I got it like dripping down my face, <laughs> and I can't lift my other hand up high enough to like to wipe. Here you go, Chef Greg, I got you, buddy. There you go. Scholar and a gentleman. My but man. again, we'll be going live tomorrow for lunch break. I'll be doing that on That's Thursday. Right. That's right. And then Friday, every Friday at 12 noon Eastern, Rectech Grills, Fun Day Friday, right. with none other than Jody Flanagan That's bringing it home, the showing you guys how to do a brisket yeah. this Friday. And yeah, not only that, we're going to be giving away uh, mm -hmm. RT700, right, Jody? Yes, sir. And we're also going to be announcing a giveaway that I did on Backyard and Beyond, which is a whole line of the Dirty Girl products. So that's Ooh. all three Bloody Mary mixes, their sour mix, and the two rimmers. So olive juice too, don't forget about the olive juice sauce. Oh, and the, yeah, the 10 month aged Ooh. olive juice. Only only aged olive juice on the market right now. So if you wanna learn how to uh, enter those contests, go back to Backyard and Beyond, watch that episode so you know how to enter. Watch last Funday Friday so you know how to enter that. And that's pretty much all we got for you. I will drop in on your show any day of the week. Right? If you feed me food like that. All day, every day, I'll, Chef Greg. I'll stand here and smile like an idiot all, all day All day, every day. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you guys are staying safe out there. If you guys need us or have any questions for us, you can be reach us at uh, Chef John at RecTechGrills.com. That's Jody at RecTechGrills.com or Chef Greg at RecTechGrills.com. Guys, smash that share button so my bosses know that we're here bringing you great content. We're working hard for you guys. Thank you all for tuning in. If you need to talk to a real live person, you can call someone at 706-922-0890. Hey, they are waiting to hear from you anything that you've got. Guys, thank you so, so, so much. Remember, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Hey. Do, do, do. Bye, everybody. Do, do, do. Rec Tech lifestyle. Set it. Hey, come get it. Hey, Brad Snow, what's up? Greg, how you doing? Gene yeah. Moore, Lynn Courtney, right. what's going on? Like. Thank you guys for tuning in. Brad style. Howard, thank you so much. Do, Vince, do, how do, you do, doing? Do, Christy, do, do, Linda Moore, do, always tuning in. Kay, how you do, doing? Top fan.